And welcome back. This is Koto in a uh, different event. It is not UEC, even though it is Friday. Um, I was invited to cover another event. Um, that is the Blue and the Gray. And that event is held at the same time. I wish I had more people to help cover stuff. <laughs> but um, I uh, said I would check them out today, and here we are. They are live at 43. Um, it is a Burnside Bridge map. 77 on the defending CSA team versus 77 on the attacking Union team. Now let's take a look at that attacking Union team starting out with their infantry. They have the 42nd PA led by 2nd Lieutenant San Mark. We've got DB led by Potsolna. I've seen DB. I don't think I've seen Potsolna lead yet, so I'll be looking forward to see how he does. We've got Doug leading the CQP. And we've got Lucian leading the IB. And they do have some Arty as well. And that is in the form of 2nd Lieutenant Manus and his guns. Looks like 1st Delaware has a few guys as well. Let's check out the CSA team. Let's see, they've got 12th BA under Fletcher. They've got HL under Sergeant Major Wilkes. We've got yep. Fruit Major type leading the 4th Georgia. And then we've got 2 Corps led by Thrigon. And looks like they have some already back here as well. Looks like 4th Georgia under Johnny Cobb. Has one gun. Good to see him out there on that gun. And then we've got two corn to Tobias here with another gun. So it looks like two guns for the CSA team. They are alive at 43. Now there is Steam Chat. So that is available to these teams. So I'll kind of be uh, judging it a bit on that standard. I did get a quick look at the rules. Um, pretty standard. Um, a little bit less restrictive than I would see in some other events. But still restrictions on various things like... Scouting, engagements, um, fighting in lines, that kind of thing. So um, I'm not an expert on this event. This is my first time covering it, but uh, we'll see how it goes um, as we zoom and zoom about the map here. Now, again, this game is called War of Rights. It is available on Steam for 30 US dollars. So if you see the game, it looks kind of cool. Check it out. Each one of these people are an individual player. It is a first person shooter set in the Maryland campaign of the Civil War. And again, this event is the Blue and the Gray. Um, it is held every Friday, as I mentioned, at uh, 8 p.m. GMT. Um, so I, I can't recommend the event since I haven't seen it yet. But if you watch the event and you're like, wow, that looks kind of cool, um, please check it out. I left a link to their Discord in the description. Uh, same thing with these units. I have left links to uh, the unit Discords for these uh, participating units. So if you see a unit that looks cool, uh, go ahead and join them. And, um, of course... Um, if you like what you see here, oh, here's First Delaware coming in. I don't think I mentioned them under First Lieutenant Carl. I know I saw them for Artie, but I don't think I saw their officer, uh, which might be why I missed them. But anyway, um, yeah, uh, subscribe if you like this video and like to see more of them. And as always, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what I need to work on. Actually, somebody let me know I need. I am a little bit uh, uh, too quick to move the camera away sometimes, so that is something I'm going to try to focus on. Uh, for this battle and make sure that I let the action kind of linger a little bit and not move off of it. But so far, as you can see here, this is Burnside. Here's the point of contention. The Union has to get across this bridge here, and the CSA has to stop them from taking that point. So the CSA is basically split up half and half, one half on this side, one half on the other, and the Union is so far massing up. They're doing some long-distance volley fire as the cannons start putting in some shots. Let me see if I can figure out what Mr. Mattis is aiming at back here. Check in, make sure I'm actually recording, because if not, that is a big waste of time. I usually check before I start, but... Right. It's okay. Gentlemen, uh, double click down here. Is it just one artillery piece going, or is it more? Looks like DB has a gunner here. Oh, and we got a crossing. Let's get down to it. Right, 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 right. Oh, no bones. 
Oh, they're leaving that flag there. They need to pick up that flag right now. There you go. And they are splitting. Half is going to uh, one side and half is going to the other. So a split on the part of the Union. And it looks like they've had a pretty good chance to get both across here. We do have some movement here by 12th VA to move alongside. While HL is putting in some additional fire. Fruit is going to redeploy his men up a little bit, as is Thragon, to try to keep these guys bottled up as long as they can. Check it on the other side so far. Who's on this side? Looks like uh, 42nd went this side, as did CQB. And Doug is going straight up. I approve of this message. I think, uh, well, I don't know if I approve of this message. My, my old thought was you go straight in. Although um, I might uh, change my mind on that um, with the uh, change in the flag respawn. I think it's a lot easier to maintain this position down here than it used to be. So uh, we will see, though, if that turns out to be the truth or not as I watch more of these Burnside Bridges and test that hypothesis. Doing good. Down on the bridge. Right, fleet, man. Company, hold fire, hold fire, hold fire, hold fire, hold fire. Oh, hold fire. Oh, oh, fire. Oh, 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 So now this is a problem for the CSA. The Union has now completely collapsed the CSA flank over here, and there is nothing to stop them going wherever they want to go. And the CSA has CQB lost their flag. So we will see on the next move where they choose to go. In the meantime, we still have... See, this firing right now by Fruit. Fruit is going to pull back a little bit. No, but this settlement here is fully in strength. They can move out wherever they want to. And now they're pulling off their men. Two corps moving back. Fort George is moving back. And this element with CQB and the others has moved up a little bit. Although I would have pushed a little bit further than they have so far. And that element down there can really push up. There is nothing really stopping them now if they want to go for the, you know, for the orchard over there. If that's their goal, or they can start to sweep up and knock out the rest of the CSA. Uh, looks like uh, Thragorn has redeployed his men to try to stabilize the front here, but luckily for him, the uh, Union has not moved out yet. Although now it looks like Doug is starting to move, and he is heading down this okay, way. I, I approve of this. You see if he's kind of using, you know, to stay underneath dress it left, dress it left, dress it left. <laughs> the incline here, or the decline, I should say, to make sure that he's not exposing himself to fire and observation unnecessarily. And then, okay, is this the movement going up here on the other side? Yep, here comes Lucian getting his men up, along with DB. And reaction by Fort Georgia to readjust. Yeah, and right now I, I, I'd be, um, I'm actually kind of critical of the Union team. I think they're being, they, they had a lot of great success over there, but they've kind of let the CSA reset themselves without really fully exploiting this. And, you know, now you got, um, you've had time. 12th VA is starting to get back up here. But now we've got an engagement over here as Wilkes ran into the CQB element. And he's kind of falling back a little bit. Here comes Thuragon. Let's see if he can get a get a twist on these guys. But it's going to be tough. There's a lot of men in front of them. Pretty good volley there by two core. As they have left the 42nd over here as a flank guard. 
And Doug is pulling back, interestingly. He was not really facing a lot of fire, but he is pulling back, I would say, unnecessarily. And right now the problem is the 42nd needs to get out of there as well. And they are indeed doing that. But uh, I, I see no reason why they had to abandon that position. They, were, they weren't taking a lot of fire. Again, now we're at 34 minutes, and the CSA is actually in a decent position here. The Union, despite an initial charge, especially a very good charge by CQB, has not really exploited on it. But maybe that's about to change here with this push against the... Uh, against 4th Georgia here in the orchard. Let's see if they can hold them. And with two against one, I think they will be all right. They will be in a good position to take this position here. With Denisimo coming in, getting that flag down. That's the key right now, guys. You got to kill that flag. You know, this whole, I'm going to stab you on the other side. No, no, no. You need to kill that flag. That's the key. Because if you don't kill that flag, they're going to pop up like daisies again. All right, let's swing back over to the other side here. So far, no major movement by the Union. Wilkes is holding a pretty important position here, making sure that the lock is still available, the uh, respawn. Now, the nice thing about this right now is now the Union already is not really in play anymore. We'll see if uh, the Arty crews for the CSA can make themselves felt. DB's over here in a decent per permission to harass. But hey, look at this! 12th BA is now back here to back up 4th GA, which has basically reconstituted itself. Fucking ball loaded for now. Again, if you don't kill that flag, you really haven't I'm killed the problem. Alright. Gentlemen, hold fire, hold fire, hold fire, hold, hold fire. Hold fire! We're gonna push up. And Fruit is making the call Gentlemen, to push up. I think this is a good idea to try to retake some ground, make sure the cannon is well uh, set. If you can retake that uh, strong position on the corner, which right. you should be able to. Yep, that's what crew wants to do. But the Union's already getting out of there. DB decided, you know what, we can't hold it with these few men. We did our job of getting oh, out of there. So a good job the there by DB. And we got two cores still kind of overwatching the, uh, the main point there. And here comes IB with the push against two cores. They kind of expose himself a little bit on the flank. And there's a charge, but it's not a full charge. This is officially a charge. Officially a charge. Yes, this is a charge. You know, it went in and it worked, but now they've exposed themselves completely to Doug here, which I think is what Theragon was worried about. So if I heard that right, I don't think Theragon actually wanted them to charge. So again, you need to listen to your officers and uh, not uh, just do what you want to do. I just stab somebody. Because now you might, oh yeah, we can win that, but now look what's happened. Look at what the ultimate result of it was. I think Gregorn realized the danger of overexposing himself there. And he has now gotten his, the whole unit is now wiped out. And they now control that centerpiece. You still have Wilkes back here guarding the lock, and then you got 4th Georgia and 12th VA guarding the orchard. But, you know, now, you know, they control the center, which was a huge piece that uh, Two Corps was doing. Um, but now they're wiped, and that flag is wiped, so... But with all that being said, we're at 30 minutes and we still are not below engaged for either team, so this is not horrible for the CSA either. Positionally, it's not great. Uh, it's a bit of a... It's not doing all that good. Uh, I didn't quite see where that cannon shot landed. But we'll see. And they could keep up this pace of battle. I think they'll be in very good um, standing. Now, the Union needs to do the opposite. They need to increase the pace. 
they uh, they had some very nice like that was a great charge. Now you know exploit it is you know you have four units on the field they have three. Keep that cascade going. Don't let them resettle and get their unit back. Keep up the pressure. Keep up the momentum. Uh, that shot I saw some jam I think. I need to get that flag up. And they are... First Delaware is falling back left. I'm not quite sure why they're disengaging. I, I don't understand it. Again, you're letting now. Look who's over here coming back. There's two core. Now they don't have their flag, but if you abandon that position, let them just pick it up. They got their flag back. Okay, they're on the run. Why? Why are you on the run? You. I, I, I'm very happy with the way the CSA is playing this match. I, I think the Union has some had had some very good tactical elements, tactical maneuvers here, but from an overall strategy. This, this pace is not sufficient. They need to pick it up. Or they need to cap the point right now and stop the clock. Well, they got to do something. They, maintaining this is not enough. And Duck is uh, Duck. Doug is starting to move up here. Let's see if he can uh, start doing some damage here. But, you know, a little pop volley. You know, okay, two core doesn't have a flag right now, so I can make the argument for okay, they don't have a flag. Okay, fine, I'll do the pop volley. Um, you know, that I could support a little bit more, but even then, I say just do sustained fire with them. They don't have a flag. You'll outshoot them. You know, this this uh, you know fence is not really cover. You know, it'll stop a bullet or two, but. You know, it's not really going to impact it. Now, again, this here by Wilkes, I agree with. Now, the reason I say I agree with it is, is he's on the defense. He doesn't have a lot of tickets. So he needs to preserve as many tickets as he can. So that makes perfect sense to me while he's doing it. But the Union, uh, you, you need to keep up that rate of fire, especially when they don't have the respawn advantage that you do. back in the lane, Oleg. Dig in on the fence to reload. Dig in on the fence to reload. Go, 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 the Brits. At 27 minutes, they have now gotten to engage. Now, the problem for the Union right now is they're facing two units. It's going to be very difficult to push them off here. Shit. All right, 15, 15, go back to the death lane, 15, 15, back to the death lane, back to the death lane, boys. You need to close with the enemy and engage him right now, like the Artie's doing some work as well, but yeah, it's, it's a little bit too far. See Johnny Cobb here. He's got a nice little view for a Union Elman right there. Va falloir avancer le canon, sinon on va se faire... Oh, uh, that should have been canister. If that was canister, that would have been nasty. But instead, it wasn't. Miss uh, Choice of Artie shot there, and Doug is going to be able to uh, chase off the Artie for some nice tickets. And he is going to carry that attack through here. But the problem is the rest of the Union is not there to support him. Now, if the rest of the Union had gone in at the same time, this attack might have worked. But now, Doug, who did a pretty good maneuver, is just going to get massacred here, and his flag's going to go down. And now his men, let's see if Menfield, now they're going in. It's too late now. You did too late. You guys took too long. And here comes HL coming in. Hold the line, boys. Hold the line. And now again, the match, there's more flags for CSA than Union. 
and that will melt here. It's time to run. It might already be too late. There's Wilkes shooting him in the back. And that element is not even supporting this attack in any way. Did they get the flag out? No. So now keep in mind, okay, we've got several flags here in the dirt. There's one Union flag, there's two, there's three. There's three Union flags in the dirt. Now if I was the CSA, what I would do is wipe out this element here with your maximum force that, you, that you've got right now before those reinforcements come streaming in across the bridge and knock out all four flags. But instead they're chasing off little elements over here that don't matter. They don't have a flag. You know, it's okay, but that's your main threat right now. And the CSA, though, I would say, is making a mistake. Two core coming all the way back here to reconsolidate. No, that's only one flag. You've got four flags here. Wipe them out before that gets back. And that's going to take about another two minutes to get here. So you got a little bit of time. But uh, if you sit back and kind of wait, all that good work you just did is going to go to waste. You know, you're doing decent on time, but you could really shut the Union out right now. And the CSA is making a critical mistake, in my opinion, by not attacking the 42nd here and wiping them out. They may be thinking to try to stuff the reinforcements as they come across. That might be what they're thinking, and I can kind of support that. I don't I mind that by fruit if you want to put one unit on it. But the rest, the other three units, should be attacking. Like, I like this maneuver here by 12th VA, by Fletcher, getting behind the Union line here. Is, is this an attack developing here as well? Uh, I'd say Wilkes needs to be a little bit more aggressive, and I really don't like Tukor just hanging back here. I think that is a huge mistake. I think Thurgon guys can really pack a punch here and might be able to catch the 42nd and knock him out. Running. Uh, running is not good for you right now. Now if you let them get back and reconsolidate with the reinforcements, then you've lost the opportunity to knock out a flag and force them to reinforce all the way back there. That is a huge benefit. And Fruit is now moving back. He didn't even fight them here to delay him. So now the Union's got a great opportunity now to come back up here. Here's Doug, and he's taking, in my opinion, the right route. Why is this the right route? Well, he could pick up the flags on his way and get back into the fight. Here comes the charge, but it, it, it matters far less now. This should have happened two minutes ago. Killer reform. Killer reform. Killer reform. Yeah, get him, get him. Just look what happened over there. Oh, well, you guys took your time doing this. And by the way, Wilkes was never even, now he's coming in, but it's way too late. Look who came in. Look what just happened. Look where the flags are now. Look who picked up the flags. All that good work you just did. Momentum. I got, I got Go for it. Second Mary Good job by the USA team. Go you know, they get they got their you know bridgehead back. Now they got their flags back here too. Let's fight and do it. Now you're gonna have to fight them all from here again. You know, it's twenty minutes, you're doing okay on time, but you're not doing great. Look at all these reinforcements that came in here now. So now you had three flags down, now you got one flag over there. Well, I mean if I hit him over the head, you need a medic anymore. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Hold on the fence. Hold on the fence. Get your reloads in, everyone. Okay, we're Broken not going to push. Or rainbow. Okay, that is a shit ton of them. Yeah, just let them push us. No point in just jumping. Yeah, I'm not. We are not going to push them off that position. Okay, they're push. Oh boy. I full back. Full back. Full back. Yeah, because we're wet. Our boys, let's kill the Yankees. Come, put them in the ground. Enemy unit on the right, lads! Enemy unit on the right! How's the war going for you? That's that good.
Через забор, через забор человек или шамуль, блядь. Хотя. Через каменную гряду перепрыгнуть. Да, вот, блядь, тут за заборчиком. А, блядь, все кирпичники туда идут. Ладно, похуй на деревянный, на деревянный. Отставить на деревянный, все кирпичники перешли на деревянном. Now I don't know why they're standing out here. All right, break reload. Break <laughs> Excuse reload, me. Break reload. Oh. Oh. That was a good volley on their part. Up and over, boys. Up and over. I mean, just just shoot them from over here. Or if you really want, you know, right here on the snake fence with a little bit of concealment, something, and out in the open. Now this is fine by the 12th VA, I would say, just doing a little peekaboo, just keeping them uh, a little kind of occupied right now. Um, again, waste time. That's what you want to do right now as a CSA. You want to waste the Union's time. Uh, not, the canister was not very effective. I might have gone with a shell on that one to knock out that wall. And now here comes 42nd back this way. Although we do have some elements. Here's Fruit and the Fort Georgia here to try to stop oh, yeah. the 42nd <laughs> from reclaiming their flag over there. Alright, double click on me, double click on me. Now here I would say double get click. very double aggressive double here click. for the double CSA. Click. Double click. And uh, they're retreating. You have a flag, they don't. You can stand in a fight, they can't. It needs to be in your calculus as you're figuring this out. You having a flag is a huge advantage against them. You need to maximize that. And Doug is on the move. You do need to be a little bit aggressive here. We're at 17 minutes. The CSA is uh, slightly behind on tickets, and they're close to taking losses. But you need to uh, continue to press this advantage here. You cannot get complacent. So I would say the CSA is doing a wise thing right now. Like, like 12th VA was doing those pop volleys. And 2 core needs to be careful, though. They are letting IB get way too close to them. They should have already withdrawn. They should not be getting into a shootout with IB right there. Now, now, they, now they give the retreat order, but it took a little bit too long. But down here is a good job by Fruit has bottled up the 42nd without a, and the, and the uh, 17th without a flag. They're not going to be able to push him out. Or oh, it's going to be very difficult, I should say, for them to do it. But 42nd is making a good move here. Oh, it's too late. The flag has respawned. Never mind. So now the flag doesn't matter. Now they got to wait for the flag to come back. And CSA has just hit. Uh, HL came in to get into a fight. One on one fight here with CQB. I think that was a mistake. That is a lot of tickets they're going to be able to mint off of this. Fruit's coming up here as well. Uh, if he can finish it off here, it might be okay, but. You have freed up your back. Nothing's restraining the 42nd now. So now you need to turn around and deal with the 42nd behind you. And I approve of this charge by the 42nd, because without their flag, there's no reason not to just plunge in, respawn back at main with your flag, and, you know, restart it. Charge, charge! Oh! Die, Pansy! And that... And the Union is now on taking losses. They still hold this uh, position over here. So DB still has a bridgehead. 
Вот они вытаскивают, как? вытаскивают снаряд. Стреляйте по противнику на саут ист, саут ист противник. Now the, un the CSA again has a choice. You, I, I would say you really have two options. Either you, you know, the bad thing about this is expose yourself here to keep them on the bridge and, and kind of, you know, delay them there. Or I would say you mass up and wipe out this element here and then continue to try to, uh, you know, okay, then they'll come back across here. But if you just kind of reset, so you, it's a lost opportunity. And, and unfortunately, that's what, that's what they're doing right now. And I think that's a huge mistake. You need to, you either need to mass up down here, and and prevent them from coming across in great numbers or hitting them pretty hard as they do, or you need to wipe out this element back here. But just kind of coming back, you know, doing little hidey shots. Yeah, you're killing a bit of time. I guess you could make that argument, but you know, it, it's still you're leaving the Union threat. You know, and every time. You're letting them get into a path where they can easily get their flags back. Get them into a position where they have to fight you without their flags when you have flags. That is what you need to do as a defender. You need to create those imbalances so that they have to fight you at an unfair advantage. They have the ticket advantage. You need to create the flag advantage. And you've done it. You're just not using it. I know they're worried about Madison and his guns, but, you know, okay, then, then go t deal with this. Go camp their flags or be in an overwatch position so that when they come up here, they're going to come up here. They want their flags back. So you have an idea of where the enemy is likely to be. Set up for it. What, what, is, what is down here? Now you're moving to point. It's too late. Now you're moving down to intercept them. You already got a unit across. Doug's already across. Pull back, pull back, pull back, pull back. Not many went down. I cannot see anything. All right, break Vito, it's about face. Break Vito, it's about face. That did absolutely jack shit. And look what Doug's doing. Doug is smart. Look what he's doing. From here, face left, face left. Look who's smart. Look what they're doing. CSA, you had perfect opportunity to prevent that, and you did not do it. That is not good. There's plenty of... Uh, never mind. Uh, gosh, gosh. All right, about face. About face. They can still hit us, yeah. About face. Let's move, boys. Hold here, 12. You want to pull back, good. Now, again, the Union needs to be more aggressive than they're being, to be, to be honest about it. That is the only thing that, that is keeping the CSA in this fight right now. Like this element down here, there's no reason they shouldn't have chased off this already and camped it. They would have gotten boatloads of tickets from guys respawning in. Charge right, charge right, charge right, pull back, 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 run, run, run. Back, 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 everybody back, back, run, 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 run. Attention. Fall down the gosh. Bad place to stand, Dorgan. Now, the Union, I'd say, is not having enough awareness here. There's no reason to be on cap right now. Absolutely no reason to be on cap right now. And if you cap right now, I'd say that's yeah, maybe that's their intent, but I, I don't understand why you would. And why is the full force of the Union not charging in? Fall back, guys. No, those are friendlies on that snowball. And they are going to fall back. Okay. They got off a point, which is good, and they're falling back. Okay. <laughs> okay, yeah, there, there they are, yeah. I, I got I got eyes I got eyes direct southwest. Flag 
just across the hill. Across the hill. Bleach. Independent fire, boys. Right there. Right there. I mean, if this, uh, if, you know, for the CSA, if the union doesn't want to engage, you know, fine. Okay, cool. Uh, here comes Doug, who's probably been the most aggressive on the union side today. And I definitely support it. He's going in, but I, I don't know why you don't send more in. What it, what, I guess you want a bridgehead over there, but, you know, these guys, okay, what are your, what's your task and purpose? Hold the rocks, fire it well. Element surprise is gone. Y'all can talk now. Oh well. Fire well. Fire Officer well. on the far right. Officer on the far right. This is a little bit too much for the uh, CQB to be dealing with on its own. We're really exposed here. Yeah, and you are very exposed. There's not really any cover either. Even with the flag respawn, you are going to get chewed up out here. Now there is an attack over here. So if the CQB is dragging off to be able to knock out the 12th VA. I think that might be a good maneuver there. I got stabbed I'll in the foot hole. Independent, independent fire. Hit him, hit him, hit him. Got the grass. Get that flag, boy. Wilkes is now maneuvering down here to save the 12th VA flag. So that is a good maneuver here by him. That will get the 12th VA back in pretty quick. But they need to... Yep. You need to look to your left, as Flores told you. And the CSA has not killed the flags. There's one down. But now they're on breaking. I'm back. Seven minutes forty remaining. Just the testicle on the fine. I'm fine. So because you didn't wipe out that flag. They're going to be able to repopulate here very quickly. You need to finish the job. You can't leave it unfinished. These units are continuing to do so. And it is going for both sides, and that is a huge problem, especially on a map like this. Spread out this line. Spread it out right. Spread it out right. Spread it out, John. Open the gas. The boys are too clubbed up back there. They're getting to the cannons again. Aim at their waist. Aim at their waist, gentlemen. Use the scroll wheel to steady your aim. Now again, this unit needs to start moving up here, which now they are. Here comes TB is starting to move up here. I think they need to come up and support CQB and help wipe out wait, you, two wait, core here. What are you talking about? That doesn't work. That doesn't work. We'll talk about this after. Yeah, the real close behind us. Pull back, pull back. Get behind the bush. Pull back. Now you got two Yankee flags up over here. Uh, see, and now DB and MW have moved up. And it looks like a little bit of friendly fire coming in there. Uh, good counter charge. This is the kind of counter charge you want to see. You see, it's masked up, it's concentrated. Uh, good hit by the Union Artie. Now, good follow-up charge here by the CQB to try to aid the allies. But there's still a lot of Union not committed. 40, uh, who's ever down here? It looks like the 42nd is not committed into the fight. Lucian is kind of committed in here. I mean, it's, he's contributing to it at least. Flag, flag, ready to fall back. But now, look what happened. CSA was able to defeat that Union force in detail. Now there's a flag down. So what do you do now? Mass and wipe them out like that. Okay, but now everybody needs to go in. You need all these guys to go in too, and not be, you know, food for Mattis. 
Now you're going to let 40 seconds come up here. You need to mass up and knock him out. You have Steam Chat, so I'm not going to be that easy on you guys. It's not like you see where you don't know what's going on. You're all talking to each other. Okay, shots by two core, but I'd say they need to go in. Two core's doing the right thing, I would say. You need to charge in and wipe out those flags. There's plenty of troops over here. You know you wiped out a unit. Get that flag up. And they all just walk past the flag. You're all just going to leave that flag on the ground, huh? There you go. So the problem is, what haven't you done? What still is up? Your mission is not complete. I'll go back to the fence. Okay. 48 men per se Well, let's see. That's 24 men per minute. Put those two flags up. It's so... No, it's... it's was a myth for so long that it actually did so much. It's placebo, bro. It wasn't Chetan. Uh, with me, with me, with me. Get those flags up! Make sure it says they're coming, they're coming. Oh, we're still alive. Now, Lucian is holding here, waiting for the rest of the, his men, so I do approve of this. You don't want to go in haphazard. Um, and then there's a charge by HL to wipe out 42nd, which was isolated. Um, I do approve of that. Um, you know, try to get them wiped out if you can, if there's an opportunity for it. Now you can't have one unit go in. If a you if if you're gonna charge, everybody needs to commit to it. It doesn't work to have only a few units. You need to mass and wipe them out and knock out their flags. You do have two of their flags down. All right, gentlemen, four Georgia, shift the left. Four Georgia, shift the left. Quick. But once again, you didn't carry it through enough. Now you're on last stand, and they still have two of their flags up. I'm not even loaded with a bayonet. So Fruit has gone for the attack. Now I agree with this. So what you need to do right now is there's an isolated element out here. Now, if the CSA can wipe this out and then force the engagement down here, you might be able to run out of the clock. Now, you only have, you know, you're on last stand. But if you all go together, you'll overwhelm them, and you'll have enough to delay them, and you'll win the round. If you hang out back here, you give the Union an opportunity to get all these men back up here and then fight as a main mass. Again, these guys, 24 men are going to come in per minute if they have two flags up. How many flags do they have? One, two. Now they've ordered the charge, but it was a little bit too late. And it's not really concentrated enough. That needed to go off on about a minute earlier, and you had the time. And that's it. CSA was able to hold it off. Union took a little bit too long getting across the bridge.
So good job there by the CSA team. He can now to win. Um, I don't know. But for 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 a map with Steam chart chat, I'm not impressed. I'm sorry, guys. This was not either team. I, I don't think you y'all did very well. I thought there was some great individual actions, um, some great initiative by several units. Um, There's no reason to withdraw as quickly as a lot of you guys did. You guys, like, panicked several times and just fights that you couldn't maintain just left. And then the flag is so key now. You have to keep it up. And if the enemy drops it, don't let him get it up here. Twice the CSA let them do that. And, um, but, you know. Still some very good individual action, so some great gunnery, um, some great charges, some good musketry, some good volleys, so a lot of good stuff in there. So um, just I, I would say just focus on the teamwork element of it and, and keep in mind um, how the battle is developing and, and try to use it to your advantage. Um, your number one priority is knocking out the enemy flag. Your second priority is, uh, is knocking out the... Uh, We'll knock it out the enemy flag and keep them yours up. Anyway, uh, we got one more to go. Um, I'll see you all on that one.